Okay, this is the fish tank. It's approximately 225, 250 gallons. You can see the outflow for the grow beds. It's up two inch PVC pipe. A venturi. You can see all the bubble action. We've got plenty of aeration. There's the venturi itself. A valve to regulate the water flow itself for the bypass. And then down in the bucket. I don't know if you can see it, but anyway, there's the tank. I mean the pump, rather. And where are the critters? There are some of them. So 27 goldfish in here. They were little tiny feeders, but I got some here now that are, you know, six to eight inches long. And I know that because I got a, a 10 inch net, and when I transferred them to this tank, they pretty much filled it. Okay. So it pumps there. There's the inlet, three quarter inch line, and a two inch stream line. And the end wall of the greenhouse. All right. It's fun experimenting with all this stuff. We're coming back here. You see some strawberry plants. Some tomatoes growing like crazy. Butter lettuce. Threw some corn in just for S and G's. More butter lettuce. More butter lettuce. Romaine and some radishes just to uh, eat up some nitrates. Nitrates are kind of on the high side. Everything else is pretty good. Seven, eight, seven, six on the pH. Ammonia is basically pretty flat. Nitrates a little on the flat side. I mean nitrites. You can see the romaine is going like crazy. Some draining and cuttings that are rooting already. Because there's a, I'm going to step out and I'll show you. A pine tree. I got a little grow area here and I want to fill this all up with uh, geraniums. The bright red flowers. So, they're in here and they're rooting like crazy. There's the inlet lines. And the larger pipe is, like I said, is two inch, and that's the drain line. I tried some floating raft beds just for the hell of it. Because I was getting tired of washing gravel. <laughs> but it seemed to be doing all right. I don't know. Major food production? Yeah, we eat a lot of lettuce. So that's why that's going on. Oh, one other little detail. A two inch T will not accommodate two three quarter inch fittings. So I had to put little nipples on the three quarter inch fittings to get them into the T so the thing would drain. It's being held up with wire ties and it's got a slight slope. And all the way down, you can see the feed line along with the drain line. Don't ask why I put a valve there. So we got valves and everything else. This is all parts and pieces that I had around here. You know, that's why it's kind of like pieced together. And this tank, at the end by the fish tank, some more lettuce, strawberry plants somebody gave me that are, yeah, they're doing. Tomato plants are going crazy here, February on the central California coast. Well, you can see them, but there's six of them in there that just popped. And there's another one. You see that guy or not? I can't. And another one. Ah, there he is. And another one. And come out wherever you are. You might be able to see it. Cell phone cameras leave a lot to be desired. Anyway, there's 13 tomatoes. 
You can see the plants are going insane. And so the overall deal is, this is a 10 by 12 greenhouse. There's six half barrels. And there's the system itself, like that. In and out. I found out in the winter time that uh, mold likes to grow in here quite a bit. There's a fish tank. That shade cloth is just to keep the, the floating fish food from going into the bucket with the pump. Because if I put quarter inch holes, not realizing that quarter inch holes will allow floating fish food to go right in and then they get sucked up by the pump and yada yada. But I did buy uh, a pound of worms that I dispersed through the gravel beds. So they're eating up some stuff and they're multiplying because I had um, scrubby pads right here. And when I cleaned them out today, there are two pads at each one. And inside, they're full of worms. And so the theory that worms don't like water, I think, is BS because they get a constant flow of water over the scrubby pads. And these are the scrubby pads. And I had them folded in half, doubled, because I noticed I was getting a lot of solids in the, in the fish tank. And they were black, and when I opened them all up on the three gravel beds, they were full of worms. And that's the remnants of the old system. Swirl tanks. Fans, the heater for when it gets friggin' cold out here. A couple of months ago it was in the 20s and below. And a little propane tank, like, uh, mm, that guy. We're running that little desktop heater for a week. Set on low when I come out here, like about 9 o'clock at night, fire it up and shut it off about 7 in the morning. Now uh, the exhaust fan with the frozen motor is the next project. Besides cleaning all the mold. It's got really humid in here this winter. Fly strips because I had a gnat infestation. But, you know, the gnats are everywhere right now, so I'm not really too concerned about it anymore. I kind of gave up on it. Another, um, I think this is like five cuttings of the geraniums. And you can see, they have that nice bright red iridescent flower. And some more buds there getting ready to pop. Roots galore. So the danger of frost is gone, then I'll start transplanting these back into the, the dirt. Some radishes just for S and G's because uh, they grow fast and nitrates are high and I figured I needed more plants. So that's about it. Well, air pumps for the raft beds. There's, there's an air pump. By the way, you don't need to buy expensive air tubing. This is just drip hose. That's all it is. And that's drip soaker hose. And it does great. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's uh, a lot of bubbles, a lot of bubbles, a lot of bubbles. So I don't know. Why go spend money on air stones and all those other clear plastic hose and stuff when you don't need to? But that's the system. I'm going to back out of here. So that's the sun side. This side over here is next on the hit list. And it'll be duplicated, but I want it lower. As you can see, the black plastic table is a lot lower than this 2x4 table. And I think the reason I want to do that is for 
the tomato plants because they go crazy in here, man. Anyway, that's the system. Some tools and stuff. Compost tubbler. That actually does quite well. You can see how rich and black the dirt is. A little crappy potting bench. And these are all up trees over here. that will be going in here pretty quick. We had some rain. I'm on the Santa Lucia mountain range of the central California coast. We have two seasons here, brown and green. <laughs> With the rain that we had, uh, oh my god, you talk about weed whacking mania. That's what's in store. I got a little over a couple acres and I get to knock it all down. And the fun part is the fact that I have three Great Danes and uh, the stuff they leave behind requires a face shield. Because <laughs> when you hit it with a weed whacker, it's not pretty. But this has been going on now for, hmm, I think I started this in October with a small little one barrel system. And things just started taking off, like those tomato plants were destined for the trash heap. And they've just gone crazy. So we'll see. Now the main thing to figure out, once I get this all set up, is to be able to grow enough food and enough variety to keep my wife and I, which is only just the two of us, in supply with fresh veggies. And so that's the, that is the plan. The fish tank, I think the goldfish are going to go away. I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. Either channel cats or rainbow cats. I mean rainbow cats. Rainbow trout. The only problem with rainbows is the fact that it'll get 110 around here in the summertime. Wintertime it gets uh, 20s and 40s. So it's kind of a dilemma. I mean eaten a channel cat, so I don't know what they taste like, but from what I've seen on various forums, they're supposed to be fairly tasty, so what the hell, you know? And some stupid lights that I put in just because of, uh, that way I know at night that everything is still working and hasn't shut down. They go on at, uh, right now about 8 o'clock and they go off about 6 o'clock. So I can look out the window and see what's happening. But anyway, that's it. Questions and comments are appreciated. Uh, if you don't like it, oh well, TFB. If you do like it, cool. Suggestions are always welcome. Constructive criticism, that is. Trolls will be banned and then shot and then quartered. That is it. Good luck, everybody.